right. I think we'll start today with just trying to figure out where these guys are and that's just gonna be a straight paddle tail. And if we get into them thick, we'll do some testing later on. But yeah, so far, welcome to a beautiful Saturday morning on the Texas Gulf Coast. We're in the upper portion of it, around uh, Galveston is the biggest city that most of y'all would know if you're familiar with the Texas coastline. And yeah, there are a lot of kayakers out here today. We just couldn't let a great opportunity pass us up when the weather, the winds are just super low. And uh, with the water level being high, we may have to push into some of the like furthest reaches beyond the back lake. Let's see what happens. There we are. There we go. Oh, this guy's got a sore on his back. Come on, buddy. He's bleeding pretty bad, y'all. Something got a hold of this fella. Oh my gosh, buddy. I'm gonna hurry up and just really get him back inside the water. No measurements, no nothing. Oh man. I really feel sorry for this guy. I mean, he's... You're in a safe place now, but gosh, man, oh man, whatever did that to you, I'm sorry. I'll show y'all in, in a quick second. Whoa, 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 bro. Okay, look, look at that. Oh my gosh, buddy. Yeah, something really got a hold of him. Bro. We'll see you later, dude. Whew, man. Well, he didn't ruin that plastic right there. That was the last one, too, that I have in that particular color. Well, I got one on a double rig, but that's what we're going to test out later on. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but welcome to MDLR Fishing if you're new to the channel. I hope you enjoy today's video. Haven't been fishing but like maybe 15 minutes and it's already starting out to be a great one. I fell out of the roller coaster, crashed out, landed on cotton candy in your arms and survived. I'm still a disaster, rock bottom and below. I'm yours for the asking, where you go I go. Oh man, don't mind me. I was like, this dude is deformed. He's got two sets of claws, but it's actually a male and a female, and they're mating. I wonder why he didn't want to go after my lure. I'll probably catch two for the price of one, bro. Come on. All right. Oh, they just saw me now. There we go. Oh, dude.
just missed him. <laughs> Dude, I just... Where are they? Alright! That's black drum bait right there, y'all. Suckers! Y'all should have got a room. I think I've seen enough. Yeah, those are some... Some pretty nice sized mullet. We're gonna do is just get out of here. I'm gonna go back into the lake and take my chances over there. At least I know there's some reds. We're back where we started off. I need to see if these guys are gonna swim equally. Man, that H and H has no motion whatsoever. It doesn't oh my gosh. It doesn't have any action. I'm gonna have to rip it through. Just need to see what's gonna go on with it. Okay, yeah, they're swimming side by side. I'd be very surprised if the H and H actually gets hit versus the hoagies because one has a lot more action than the other. I don't even know if anything is gonna wanna hit this. Interesting to find out. We'll dedicate about an hour's worth of casting and see if we can make it happen. Yeah, I don't know. Either we have a tough crowd today or they just don't like these double rigs. I've tried an umbrella rig in the past whenever reds were schooling and feeding and they wanted nothing to do with it. But the minute that I stopped using it, I started catching again. Every time I've tried any type of a, a bass rig set up like this right here, I've never caught anything. So I'm going to put this away and we're going to go with the single paddle tail. And if we start catching again, well then we just know it's probably going to be the rig. I may come right back to it though. So you stay ready, buddy. There we are, right in the middle. Just got lucky and put it in front of his face. Oh, goodness gracious, that's a big flounder. Christian was right. He's like, Dad, what if we catch a big old huge flounder back here? There's a crab over here. I gotta watch out for that fella. Oh my gosh. This dude hit like a redfish. Oh no, come on. There we are, right into the net. Whoo, baby, that's some good eating. 16, 16 and three quarters. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And we already got the crab down there. We had some stuffed flounder, man. Whoa, I guess he begs to differ. Very tough day. We are grinding it out. That is just sheer luck. That's a one in a million cast right in the middle of a back lake. And uh, yeah, you pay your dues, cast, cast, cast. Eventually you're gonna put that lure in front of their face and whammo. All right, we're right in the middle of a big muddy section of water. There's nothing that's fresh. It's just a bunch of stirred up bottom. It's also happens to be the wind blown portion of the back lake on the bank line. 
my hope was that maybe some of the shrimp was getting pushed up and congregated in this area by the wind and maybe there would have been some feeding reds inside all of this but yeah as we got closer and I'm right on top of it now I don't see any fresh mud boils or anything like that usually that's a great indicator of a predator fish being in the area that tail thrust stirs up the bottom kind of does this little thing right here so something like that that's what they do when they thrust that tail to go after the bait there we are oh my gosh made it happen on the windblown bank This guy's got some jets on him. Just right up against the grass line. Yeah. My guess was like shrimp getting blown into it. Yes. We just got to make the best of our time with like cast 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 it's the fastest thing that you can cast and retrieve he's a big boy I think he's gonna be about 26, 27. 27 with a pinched tail. There we go. This guy has been putting some overtime today for us. Gorgeous redfish, y'all. They have been elusive today, not wanting to show themselves. Good old 27 inch mud donkey right there. Send him on his way. If you're new to the channel, the reason the reason why I call them mud donkeys is because it is just nothing but sloppy mud that we fish. And those guys, and that's all they're doing is rooting around in the muddy stuff and they, they pull like a donkey. That is gonna do it, y'all. We made it back to the entrance of the marsh and that was a great day. All things considered, how slow it was being lucky enough to catch a few keepers. Icing on the cake, baby. Perfect conditions today, except for no cloud cover in the skies, which made the things difficult. A lot of kayakers out here on a Saturday. Great times. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. If you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you wanna see more, click the subscribe button. A lot of the gear that I use is gonna be found in my video description down below. And that's gonna do it for this one. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.